You know, Mars is the closest place that we can reach with robotic exploration that we think had a really good chance of having ancient life. The Perseverance rover will land at a location called Jezero Crater. Jezero Crater is a very interesting place. It's a crater that once held a lake. There are a lot of craters on the surface of Mars that could have once hosted ancient lakes, but not every crater that we think had a lake actually preserves evidence that that lake was there. It had an inflow channel and it had an outflow channel. That means it was filled, the crater was filled with water. In Jezero, we have probably one of the most beautifully preserved delta deposits on Mars in that crater. This is a wonderful place to live for microorganisms, and it is also a wonderful place for those microorganisms to be preserved so that we can find them now so many billions of years later. There is no other place on Mars that has the unique combination of a lake setting, a beautifully preserved delta, and the diverse mineralogy that we have in Jezero Crater. So it's truly a special landing site. The major goal of the Perseverance mission is to investigate astrobiology on Mars, and in particular, to address the question of whether life ever existed on Mars. The Perseverance rover starts with a design that's very similar to Curiosity, but we've added to it a whole new set of science instruments. And these science instruments were purposefully selected to help us in the search for biosignatures. We're gonna be taking uh, microphones with us for the first time we're gonna have uh, that human sense on another planet. Perseverance carries with her a grand experiment in space-faring technology, a helicopter, the name of which is now Ingenuity. One of the major upgrades that Perseverance has from Curiosity is that it's able to self-drive for a distance of up to 200 meters per day. As the rover is driving, it's literally building the map of the road it's driving on on Mars. Scientists for years have told us that to really unlock the secrets of Mars, we have to bring samples from Mars back to Earth. So what Mars 2020 is going to do is to drill samples, put them in small tubes. We're gonna seal it in its own individual tube. We set them on the surface to provide a target for the second two missions which hopefully will get in development in the next several years and could potentially get the samples back to Earth by 2031. Perseverance is a very, very profound first step in both our understanding of our place in the universe and a stepping stone towards human exploration of Mars.